sitting here at the truck stop just delivered that load what a what a crazy load huh it could have it could have ended ended much worse so you know i ain't even mad about it there was really no damage or anything like that but before i get into that topic man i gotta say this this cold has really been whooping my ass it really has man it got me out here sounding like a old will it start video 1970 cadillac sitting in somebody's backyard for 40 years and they're trying to finally trying to start it up after so long I sound like somebody that been smoking since an infant. Came out the womb with a crack pipe. <laughs> Damn, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> Man. Uh, um, but um, how's everybody's day going? Mine is going pretty well. It's been raining out here for the last two days. But, hey, bro, you stink. You, my dog just farted and then it turns around, looks at his butt like, did you hear that? Who did that? Where'd that come from? You. It came from you, dude. You stink. You smell like a dog. This, this is not fair. I probably stink too, so I get it. So looking back on that whole situation, I was kind of thinking to myself that, you know, things could have definitely ended up much, much, much worse. And it makes me think that a lot of times we complain about these rules and regulations and these safety tips that are given at these shippers and receivers. And a lot of them are annoying and a lot of them are dramatic, but that right there was a reminder of how bad things could go if you do not take precaution. Because I was just saying to myself, if I was standing, let's say that the truck didn't catch it, or the headache rack didn't catch it, and I was standing on my catwalk putting something in my toolbox, that could have fell on me. If he was a few more feet higher or a few more feet over, that could have fell on me. Now, the truck might be able to withstand something a thousand pounds falling on it or not, but I know my, I know I won't, you know what I'm saying? My balls is made out of, um, dirt <laughs> so um some fall on me i'm done for i'm done for and i don't want to be that i don't want to be that dude you know what i'm saying so um it's just a reminder that you know take precaution be safe you know be aware of what you're doing it's, it's a lesson for me too to be um even more vigilant even more cautious because the one time that you become complacent or the one time that you just kind of slip off your game is when something can happen to you. So you always got to be on your game. You always got to be looking out and making sure that you are um, protecting yourself because that could have been a much, 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 much worse situation. Um, so what happened was those that item is a very slim item. So they didn't put it on one full pallet. They kind of, you know, split the pallet and then put each item on each little section that they cut out. But when all of those things are put together on the trailer, the pallets look like they're conjoined, they look like a normal pallet. So he was under the assumption that that was a full pallet. Rightfully so, rightfully so. And I guess that might be, his, might, he might be new, it might be his first time unloading those. Well, obviously it had to be, you know. So when he went to go grab it, he grabbed it as a, as a one whole pallet. And of course, the middle of those, so to speak, the middle of that came apart and it fell. And luckily, the headache rack caught it in the pipes right there. And, you know, the pipes that I have up there uh, caught it. So it, it didn't fall. About a swarm of people came out, like 10 people came out. They got up there. They put some straps on it. It was kind of confused at first. Put some straps on it. Eventually, uh, they was able to, you know, Get the forklift to lift it back up and then they pulled it back because it's, it's only 1200 pounds so with all those people pushing it they were able to maneuver it and get it back on the truck and there was no significant damage under the other than the headache rack getting a little bent up but that's minor i know one thing though when i seen that thing coming down i was like okay well let me get my dog let me get my dog out even though it was nowhere near you know him i just be like damn let me get my dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want my dog to get crushed. Go ahead and crush the truck. Just don't crush my dog in it. You know, all this other stuff in here is replaceable. I'm cool. But it's, a, it's just a reminder. It's a reminder right here why you must take precaution uh, when you're out here working. Um, if, if you know, if, Especially if you're doing flatbed because we're working around such, you know, so many um, machinery and so many moving things and so many heavy things that can literally fall and crush you. Um, you don't want to be that dude. 
because you 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 know that they gonna use your they gonna use your ass as an example. I'm just saying they gonna have you all over talking about this driver got smashed by a by a, um, a car bumper or whatever the hell that shit was I was hauling. So I'm just saying, don't make a fool out of yourself. Be safe. Be safe. Up. Damn. Excuse me, boys. Um, sorry, I'm sounding kind of girly there. Be safe out there. <laughs> but um. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to make this video real quick, man. I'm going to drink this NyQuil like some tequila and go to bed. As you know, uh, flatbed, you're kind of limited to weekdays, Monday through Friday, business hours. So if you don't get nothing by Friday, you're going to be sitting till Monday. So um, I'm just going to sit here and just wait. Hopefully I get a load today. If not, then I'm going to have to sit till Monday, which I still get paid for. But I know I will make more money if I was to go get a load. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um... But yeah, shout out to that guy, you know what I'm saying? I know it was kind of embarrassing, but mistakes happen, man. It could have ended much worse, so don't even worry about it. And to the and to the um and to the to the um the manager dude that was so goddamn grumpy. Take a grump pill. Shit. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? You mad for what mad, mad for what? Nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, I, I I gotta watch, you know, what I say about certain shippers and receivers in places because, well, honestly, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't give a damn, you know. But somebody did comment on my video who, from that video that I posted about uh, that the, the shipper thinks I'm stupid or something like that. Yeah, somebody from that facility commented on my video. It wasn't anything negative. He was just like, you know, if you're a new driver, I can understand how difficult or challenging it could be coming here, whatever. Uh, it was nothing bad. So shout out to Steelscape and Rancho Cucamonga. But um, yeah, I, be, I gotta watch what I say because who knows who watches your videos? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to call nobody out their name or say something completely belligerent and stupid. Not that I care, but if I do, then oh well. All right, y'all. Peace out. <laughs>